So let's get the story behind today's numbers because I'm joined now by Peter Redfern, chief executive of Taylor Wimpy. Thank you very much for speaking to us. So uh, let me start by asking you about uh, these latest figures that we've just had out, Taylor Wimpy, back to profit. Do you think you're going to be able to sustain this kind of performance as we go into the second half of the year? Absolutely. I mean, we're obviously pleased to be back in profits, not back to, to normal levels yet, but definitely moving in the right direction. Uh, tell me a little bit about the major challenges facing you right now, and particularly the obstacles uh, in uh, sustaining uh, the profit that you've seen, g given that uh, well, Nationwide's housing index showed a 0.5% slip in house prices last month, and the Bank of England as well, saying that mortgage approvals dropped close to recession levels in June. Well, we've actually seen a pretty solid, stable housing market in the UK during the first half of the year. And, you know, in a way, we see some of those external statistics exaggerated in the early part of the year, how quickly things recovered, but perhaps exaggerate any sort of later slowdown in the, the second quarter. So for us, we've seen, you know, a slow, steady recovery in prices, probably about 5% in total over the last six months. But, but no big slowdown or, you know, certainly no price falls over the last two or three months. Nevertheless, there are increasing signs now, aren't there, that home prices and sales could decline in the second half of the year and indeed into 2011. What's your scenario? I think, you know, I mean, it would be uh, obviously wrong to, to look at it and say there weren't risks. There clearly are. Um, I would just say those risks haven't materialised at this point. So we have a very strong order book, uh, nearly a billion pounds of uh, sales, or, you know, sort of orders already taken in the UK that have not have yet to complete, which puts us in a good position for the second half. So uh, are the risks, yes, but we feel we're in good shape to deal with those and continue to deliver a profit into the second half of this year. And how will you respond to those risks as and when they do arise? Well, in terms of the market risks and the, the sort of uh, the risk of yeah, reduced mortgage availability or um, yeah, sort of more uncertain economic environment, both the strength of that order book, the quality of our sales processes. Yeah, we, we have products available that, that make it easier for, for all types of customer to buy. And we've also spent an awful lot of time over the last two years making sure we have the right products yeah, to attract customers. You tend to find even in the toughest housing markets, the good quality sites with the right products at the right prices continue to sell. And, you know, compared to two or three years ago, we think we're in a significantly stronger place in terms of what we've, we've got available. And what sort of indications or signals are you seeing in terms of mortgage lending? Do you think it'll be improving in the near to medium term future? Uh, we're not anticipating a significant improvement in the near term, but nor are we seeing or anticipating a, a big decrease. You know, what we've seen over the last two or three months is relative stability. Um, we've not seen big product withdrawals by the banks. We've seen one or two new products come into the market. So, you know, at the moment we're anticipating broadly stable, still not back at anything like normal levels, but, you know, sort of, yeah, that we've managed to sustain the results in the first half on the back of the mortgages that are available then, and we, we expect that to broadly continue.